This has gone on long enough, George. <laughs> you pissed your pants. and you get strangled. All your bodily functions happen. <laughs> Yo, Smith! Right, you! You owe me, mate. I want a phone card. Piss off. It's not my fault it ran out. Of course it is, man. You used it. Now, you better get me another one. Are you threatening me? Well, I might be. Yeah, I'll just do it. You two! It's him! You can't see now, can you? Fuck it! with me, mate! See that? It's me, Brian! Yeah, I told you the news, didn't I? It's my mate! Sergeant! Brian! Get up there, you Get up there! Do you hear me? I want the local radio station. What's the wave band? Russell's voice. He's talking to him, the gag's off. <laughs> Just that the dial past the classic FM. That's what I do. Do you know why I'm doing this? Cause no one pays me any attention! Nobody pays me any attention. I will, George. I'll listen to you. You got me here, so talk to me. I will listen to you. And I know who is doing it, <laughs> but they refuse to listen to me. <clears throat> it's arsenic. You got information of the bowl, that's all, George. No, I have not. That's what they said my dad had. <sighs> he died in agony, my dad. Thank you, Mr. Andrews. HQ are sending us an experienced hostage negotiator and replacement for Dr. Williams. 
Be with us shortly. Shortly? Oh, well, that's great. In the meantime, fella screaming blue murder about being fed arsenic. He thinks someone's poisoned him. Let me have a go. If anyone goes down on that wing, it'll be me. I've been doing the negotiating training, Gary. That's what I've been doing. As HOC, Gary, you go down. It's a complete breach of the rules. Hmm. Been worn a few breaches already, Governor. A friggin' hostage, have you? You might just get another one when I get out, dickhead. Hey, that's not the Rudy Governor. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I'm gonna write to the Home Secretary about this. I need me glasses. I can't see without me glasses. Did you have for a few weeks? I mean, as if I'd do anything. I mean, I never touched nobody. This isn't fair. It's not fair. This is your fault, Eugene! Bollocks! Your fault! Hey! Stop guessing! In yourself! You're an uncle, Tom! I have an exam to do. What about my education programme? Hey, Chizik! I've got a one-on-one -on -one tomorrow! You just lost it. I need to know his family history, his entire prison records, and, and his medical records. At all costs, whoever is negotiating with the perpetrator of Barfield must in right no now, way give in to his demands. Could, could you hold on a second? Yes, ma'am. At Barfield Prison. And we hope, and we pray. Does Governor Keller know that there is a live broadcast going on? I'm not sure. I've just heard it. And if you could let them have that straight away, please. Governor, Monsieur. Thanks, you can leave us. Nice to see you again. HQ have supplied me with the background details, but I'll need to see George Feller's report. Good heavens. What an improvement. Very impressive. How's Morgan coping? He is a very experienced officer. But then you know him. He was here when you were... Um... Did my caretaking job? Yes. Yes. He was also taken hostage by a prisoner, Norman Jones. So he'll know the routine. He's held in the health care centre, Miss Hewitt. In this cell, here. Fallis says, but we can't be sure, that the door is rigged to hang Morgan if opened. Mm. Well, the door opens inwards, but we'll have to take his word for it. Where on earth did he find a possible half of a mop? The mop was left in cell. Yeah, we're really short staff. Does Fallis have a radio in his cell? Well, you know they're talking about the hostage on air. What? Nobody knows about this situation, with it being in the healthcare centre. Well, they obviously do. The last thing we need is the local radio white boy making a meal of it, so I suggest you contact them. If you're ready, you should go down. They'll need a break. Oh, no, I, um... I won't interact with Fowler. I'll just give my advice on how to handle the perpetrator. <laughs> he wants a blow-up rubber doll. Mm -hmm. And to see you blowing it up. Well, let's see what I can do, shall we? After you, Miss Hewitt. Yes, you were. After me. Just showing. Mary Marshall. Miss Hewitt. Uh, give us five minutes, lads. Been in there since nine this morning, Miss Hewitt. Do you think we ought to. Uh... I'm here to do the thinking, Gary. You shouldn't even be here. I'm not on duty. How's the woman? He's taking a gag off him. Is the doctor the main person that fella's been interacting with? 
He was, but he's exhausted. And the prison negotiator didn't do too well. And then Fowler became hysterical, said he was being poisoned. And Governor Keller let Jackson have a go. Have a go? Can you get Russell out of there or not? That's what I'm here for. Bloody marvellous. Look, Gary, you obviously find this very hard to tell you, but you've got to trust me. And I suggest you get Officer Jackson away from the perpetrator now. Well, how do you think that makes us feel, eh? Hey! 